The Sony stand at CES 2016 appeared very similar to last year, but the TVs themselves had gone through a few changes. For a start, Sony had revised their naming convention, so the flagship TV is now the 75-inch XD94. The other big change is that Sony have dropped the large size speakers. Although the older models sounded really good, Sony recognised that the people who bought their high-end models already had sound solutions of their own. Aside from that, the XD94 uses a full direct backlight and a new slimmer design. It supports HDR, but Sony wouldn't comment on brightness or how wide the colour gamut is. However, it does include extended dynamic range, 4K X Reality Pro and a triluminous display. Also new for 2016 is the 55 and 65 inch XD93. This model has also dropped the big speakers and uses an ultra slim design similar to last year's X90C. However, the edge lighting now includes a new local dimming feature for improved performance. Aside from that, the XD93 shares many of the same features as the XD94, including HDR. All the new models share a similar clean design with covers over the inputs and wires running through the stand for tidy cable management. There's also the same picture hook wall mount that was used for the X90C last year, although Sony's TVs are also compatible with Visa mounts. Sony continues to support the Android Smart TV platform, which the company said should now be faster and more stable. They've also reduced the number of remotes to just one that's been designed to work better with Android. Sony also had two of their new VPL VW 5000 ES native 4K laser projectors on show, which were projecting a massive 200 inch image. And you can see me standing next to the projector to give you an idea of the size of the screen and the unit itself. The projector can deliver a massive 5000 lumens and is primarily aimed at the custom install market. Naturally, the results were hugely impressive, but then they ought to be for £60,000 each. Finally, Sony demonstrated the new technology that whilst not being available yet, certainly gives us a tantalising glimpse of the future. The Backlight Master Drive uses a direct LED backlight with over 1,000 individual zones, that not only eliminates haloing, but can also deliver 4,000 nits of peak brightness. In the demo, the blacks were completely black and the spectral highlights really popped. And that's what we call high dynamic range. Let's hope this prototype doesn't go the same way as Crystal LED.